In this low-code feature focus, we'll talk about how to use the convert from HTML to Word action. In the process, we'll show how to use a Word document as a template for your HTML. So let's get started. I've created a letter document, and I'm going to open it now. This is the template that will be used to generate an output Word document. It starts as a Word document, and I've inserted tokens where I want the signature and the name. Because the tool we're using today is HTML to Word, we're going to save this as HTML and use that as the source template. So, File, Save As, and we'll choose Web Page Filtered and Save. This creates a letter.htm that we'll upload to our website. So let's upload that now. I've gone into the folder that I want to use. I'm going to upload and drag my file. We can click it and see that the file is uploaded. I have an additional file called casual signature that just has my name. We're going to use the letter htm as a template name, so we'll get the URL for it. So we'll copy and close. I've already built a workflow that will do this work. The first thing we'll have is three inputs. The first input is the HTML file name that's going to be used as the template. I'm going to paste the URL for my HTML file. In the same way, we're going to get the URL for the signature file. So I'll right click, get the URL, copy, and paste it as the default value for my signature. We're using a workflow and we're preparing the default values so that it's easy to test. But when we have a final result, you'll be able to use the workflow passing in a template HTML file and signature and getting an output result. For the name, I'm going to default to Dale Warner. Let's look at our outputs. We're going to have two outputs. One is called the output token. The other is a get file link for the output token. Get file link returns a link, and we're going to call that the download link. We'll explore more in a minute about how that works. So now let's look at our process. The first thing we're going to do is to format the signature as an image link. So we do an insert context called format the signature as an image, where we take the input signature and put it inside of an image block. This is a standard HTML format image with the source being the full path to the signature, plus we're limiting the height to 100 pixels. The result of that goes back into the signature variable. Next, we want to use a server request to get the HTML template. Remember, the HTML template is on our file system. We'll use the server request to get it in as a context variable. So we pass the HTML file, which is the name of the input parameter. We do a get with no parameters. And the output token is going to be called the HTML. In our next step, we're going to use an apply token action to update the HTML. So we start with the HTML and we store it as expanded HTML and we do three recursions. This means that variables within your the HTML will be expanded and if there are other variables inside that, they'll be expanded down to three levels or three iterations. If you remember our Word document, we have signature and name so these variables will get expanded during this apply tokens action. Finally, we use convert from HTML to Word. We have the expanded HTML as input, which as you remember, we got from our HTML template. We tell it where we want to store this, which in this case is called case 66842. The pattern of the output file name is called Word Output Document, and in our case, we're going to overwrite if the file already exists. The output token name is called the output token. This is going to be a file ID that we'll use to create a link. We save, and that's it. We're at the end. Now, when we look at the output, we have two outputs. The output token, the actual file ID of the created file, and then we're going to create a download link. The download link is built up of the domain root, that's the beginning of the URL for this domain, 
Plus we use the file get link function where we pass in the file identifier of the output token. So this same number from here is going to be used in a get link to build a link. And that's it. We save and test. Because we've provided defaults for the HTML file, the signature, and the name, we don't have to type anything. We simply click run. We get output parameters of a document token, 366, and a download link. Let's copy this link and use it. We copy the whole thing, go to a new page, and paste. A document downloads, which we click, and now we have a output document called Word Output Document. It's in the format of our template, but now we have the expanded. We have an image and the name. Defining these series of steps as a workflow allows you to call the workflow from elsewhere in your program. You would pass it the URL to your template file, the URL to a signature file, and the name to appear underneath the signature. As a result, you would get a document token, but more importantly, you would probably use the download link. You would use that to automatically cause the Word document to download. In this low-code feature focus, We've showed how to use the convert from HTML to Word action. We started from a Word document, created an HTML version of the document, and uploaded it to our website. We used that as the template for our convert from HTML to Word, resulting in a Word document that we could download or use in other steps. Is there some feature you'd like to see in our next video? Leave a comment in the section below. For more great low-code content, be sure to subscribe to Plankton App.